A free AI video generator tool has been launched to create amazing videos. You can generate videos from a text prompt as well as from images. Is this tool better than Sora? In today's video, we'll take a brief look at this new AI tool for video generation. Also, I will compare it with other AI video models available in the market. We will also discuss the recent updates from Pika and Leonardo. So, without further delay, let's get started. Hyper AI is a new video generator tool founded by alumni from Google DeepMind, TikTok, and top research labs from academia. Right now, this tool is 100% free to use for 2 second HD and 4 second SD quality videos from text and images. Click on this Start App button to start using it. Sign up for an account using your Gmail or Discord account. A simple and clean web-based user interface with main navigation at the top. You can choose between 2 second HD and 4 second SD quality options for your generation. Let's choose the HD quality option first. For text prompts, I will use ChatGPT. Paste this comprehensive prompt here. You can access it in the description. Press the enter button. You will be asked to provide the style. You can choose any style from this list. Let's choose this anime style. Now we will be asked to provide the description or subject of the video. Let's say, a young girl in the forest. Here you can see the eight different text prompts based on the style and subject. Let's choose this prompt, copy this text, and paste it here. Here you have different styles for the video. Let's choose this Ghibli style. You can keep your generation public or private by clicking on this option. You can also fix the seeds to generate a similar video every time. You can check this FAQ guide about seeds and other basic questions. Go back to the main dashboard and click on this Create button to generate the video. As it is free to use, you have to wait for a few minutes for the video generation process. Here we have the video. That looks awesome. By clicking on this button, you can download this video. At the top, you have different options to regenerate a new video Change the text prompt, repaint any area by adjusting the style, and much more. Let's click on this Regenerate button to create another variation of this video. Here we have the video. This video looks amazing in terms of background animation. Let's try another prompt. This time I will use this steampunk style. Click on the Create button and wait for some time. Here we have the video. This does not seem to be a good video in terms of animation. Let's generate another variation of this video. And this video looks amazing in terms of camera movement. Let's try this SD quality prompt based video generation option. I will use the same prompt and style. Here we have the motion control option. Let's choose this option with the maximum motion level. Choose the video duration to 4 seconds and click on the Create button. Here we have the final output. Let's try the same prompt again. This time, I will type the style manually rather than choosing from this list. Also, I will adjust the motion level to default. Click on the Create button and wait for the process to complete. Here you can see the final output. That looks amazing. So we have to tweak our prompts every time to find the best one. Let's try its image to video option. First, we will generate the image by using this ChatGPT prompt in Leonardo AI. Paste your text prompt. Choose this fine-tuned model and anime style. 
change the aspect ratio to the landscape. Click on this Generate button and wait for the image generation. Here we have the final images. These look amazing. Let's download this image to use it. As a quick update, Leonardo has updated its features. You can animate your own images into a 4 second video. Also, new element models are added. Here you can check all of the elements. Let's try this model to generate the images. Here you can see the result. These images look like complete story-based images. One more thing is that you can see the character consistency in the final output. That looks amazing. Go back to the main dashboard. Click on this creation mode and choose the animate your image option in HD quality. Upload your image. And click on this create button without pasting any text prompt. Wait for the video generation process to complete. Here we have the result. This video looks great in terms of camera movement and cloud motion. Let's try the same image with the SD quality. This time I will paste this text prompt. Choose the motion level and click on the create button. Here we have the final output. You can see a little bit of creepiness in the background, but overall it looks promising. Let's try another image without any text prompt. Here you can see the final output. That looks bad in terms of animation. You can also change the style, color, and subject of your video by choosing this repaint option. Choose this option and upload the video. Let's use this video that we generated earlier. Let's change the video style to steampunk with camera zoom in. Click on the create button and wait for the final output. Here we have the final output. The video is completely changed without any movement. Let's try another video. This time I have uploaded a video of a cute kitten in the hand. By clicking on this button, you can choose the area to amend it. Let's make a selection around this cat. Let's ask it to change it with a cute bunny in the hand. Click on the Create button and wait for the final result. Here we have the results. The video with the selection has not changed anything. And here we have another video with text prompts only. The main subject is a little bit changed, so it can be improved by applying different prompts. You can also convert your sketch into a video by following this step-by-step -step tutorial. First, create a sketch by using any tool. Make sure to remove any edges in any editing software to get a clean image. You can follow this Comfy UI to generate the images by following this step-by-step -step guide. Let's copy this text to generate the images in Leonardo AI. Choose this fine-tuned model with an anime style. Click on the Generate button for the images. Here we have the images. These look amazing. Let's choose this image. Go back to the main dashboard, choose this creation mode, and upload your image. Let's paste this text here. Choose the motion level. And click on this create button. Wait for a few minutes to complete the process. Here we have the final output. This looks amazing in terms of animation, but is not the same as given in the tutorial. So you can adjust the prompt and image a little bit, to generate the same output. In recent weeks, we have seen an amazing AI video generation tool called Sora by OpenAI, although it has not been released yet. But for the sake of this tutorial, we will take this video as an example and compare it with other models. Copy this prompt text. Go back to the Hyper AI and paste this text prompt here. 
Without choosing any motion level, let's click on this Create button and wait for the process to complete. In the meantime, paste the same prompt in Pika 1.0 and Runway ML. As a quick update, Pika 1.0 has introduced sound effects to add to the video. Here you can see some of the demo videos. These sound effects look natural and according to the subject of the video. Very impressive. Go with the default settings and click on the Create button. Go to the RunYML website and choose this text to video option. Paste your text prompt here. Adjust this prompt a little bit. Go with the default settings without choosing any styles and brush options. Click on this Create button to generate a 4 second video. Here we have the output from Pika. Irrespective of the elephant's direction of movement, the animation looks amazing. And here we have the Runway ML result. There is a little bit of creepiness in the video, as you can see this elephant's body deformed as it moves forward, but overall, the result looks amazing. Here we have the output from Hyper AI. Although a single elephant is moving perfectly, but overall the body is not deformed while it moves. This result looks good. Let's try it with the image. Here I have generated four images based on our prompt. Let's download this image to use it. Choose this creation mode and upload the image. Paste the text prompt. Choose the motion level to default. And click on this Create button. Here we have the final output. That looks amazing. So, which tool did best? Share your reviews in the comment box. That wraps up this video. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to like and share this video. Thanks for watching. See you soon with more exciting stuff.